Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna work on my helmet. I'm gonna show you how to install your GoPro for vlogging without hampering with the overall design of the helmet. For this, I have this mount over here. It's a Telesyn mount that goes to the front of your helmet. It has this loop that you loop around your chin guard to actually attach to your helmet. So that is the part that we're gonna put in the front of the helmet. Obviously, we don't need to install this. This just gets looped in the helmet whenever you wanna use the GoPro. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I do the setup for the audio on my GoPro. The way we do this is we basically take the Telesyn and we remove the screw and then we just slide the GoPro in there and right. So here we go. And this here is how the GoPro looks like. So what we want to do is install the audio. We want to install this lavalier microphone inside of the helmet. This is a Rode SmartLink lavalier microphone. It's not the best. The reason being, I cannot attach this directly to the GoPro. I need this other cable to be able to do that. So this goes like that. And this cable goes into the GoPro like so. This is basically what we want to install inside the helmet, the microphone. But we also want to install um, this little device here. This is a Senna 30K communication device. It is quite good. I love to use this when I'm riding with friends so that we can communicate, basically giving directions. It's a fantastic device. Now, the first thing we want to do is install the Senna. There's a lot more cabling involved with the Senna than with the microphone for the GoPro. Now for that, we need an Allen key. All right, so once the screws are removed, we can open this up, meaning that we can slide this part into the helmet. The thing I want to do is to have the communication device as far as possible to the back so that I can have the mic inside like this. We take this plate, open up here in the back and slot it in. Now this is always a little bit of a hassle. Sorry if you can't see this properly. Let's see how we get in there. And here we go. So this, this goes in quite easy. And now we just need to check that everything lines up properly before we start screwing anything. So the microphone, we make sure it's in there and we have a little bit of wiggle space so we can move it and it looks good. So now the only thing missing, we're just gonna screw the two Allen keys in there. I'm just gonna take the first one and screw it in a little bit so that it holds. Now I'm gonna take the second screw and do the same thing. And now we just take the Allen key and tighten up these two screws. That's gonna take a while. All right, so now that we have attached the Senna here to the side, I'm gonna put the guard back on just to check everything is okay and lines up properly. This is a little bit of a hassle usually once you have a device in there, everything is a little bit tighter and it doesn't fit as well as it used to. You need to fight it a little bit and eventually you will get it in. All right, it's not perfect, but got everything in and now we need to put the two speakers into the helmet. For that, this helmet, has, I'm not sure if you can see it, in here, little pads, this placeholders, where the speakers go. We just need to get the speakers in there and then thread the cabling so that it's not in the way. And then this one, and now the other one, there you go. And just make sure that we put the cables out of the way. For this, we can go through the outside or like here, directly in the inside and then thread it through the back. So it comes up here and then slowly with my fingers, move it into place gently. And then in here, just put the excess cable in there. Like so. This should be good enough. Now we've got our speakers in there, microphone inside the helmet, and the helmet is ready for a communication device. So one thing we can do is make sure that it actually works. Let's turn it on. Hello. 
you heard it. Headset is working, everything seems fine. All right, now we've got our helmet. It looks like this, has the little center device there on the side and everything is neatly tucked inside. So the next thing we want to do is get this microphone inside the helmet and tuck all these cables away so that we can attach it properly and there's no cabling around our faces. So first of all, I'm gonna remove this cheek pad, move it a little bit to the side like this so that you can see. So the one thing I want to do is to take this lovely microphone and place it in here so that I can talk and place it close to the cheek pad so that it looks somehow something like that. We're gonna use this black tape. It's obviously too thick. So we need to cut a little piece out. So what I'm gonna do is cut a thin strip of this tape so that I can place the mic inside the helmet and keep it in place. Let's take the mic, push the dead cat a little bit away, and then I'm just going to put the tape here, just holding it in place, making sure I hold the dead cat like this so it doesn't move away, and go inside the helmet and place my mic pressing down on the tape so that this stays in place. Now this should be good enough. And now I just need to take all this cable and just put it in here. See, so I've got all the cable in there and I've got this cable hanging. So what I'm going to do with this cable when I'm not using the GoPro, I'm just gonna tuck it in there so that you can see that there's any cable in there. Now, when I'm out and about with the GoPro and I want to film, now that's another story. And for that, what we're gonna do is we're going to open up the helmet and take our Telesyn, open the loops, and place the GoPro where we want it to go. I'd say here. And then hold it in place with your hand, pass one of the loops through and loop it through and then make sure the placement is still more or less what we wanted and attack and secure it. And now we take the other one, do the same thing and make sure we attach it. We can fasten it a little bit more if we see that there's a little bit of wiggle. And then we just take the cable that we had and this one goes down here. And once we want to vlog, we just take our cable out of here, connect it, tuck it in a little bit and we're good to go. Vlogging set up without hampering with the front of your helmet. I hope you liked this video and enjoyed how easy it is to actually install your vlogging setup on your helmet with something like the Telesyn, with a mount that loops around the chin guard. Now I'm gonna be able to ride around and film again using my new helmet. I'm so looking forward to it. In my next episode, I'm going to go and wash my bike before I leave to Sardinia. And why is that relevant? Enrique, duh, you're gonna wash your bike. I don't wanna see you washing your bike. I ordered a product from Shine and Armor called Fortify, which is a waterless wash and ceramic that you can apply on your vehicle. And it arrived, it's still in the bag. I'm not gonna take it out now. But next episode, I'm going to wash my bike normally, dry it up, use this thing and see how good it actually is. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. See you in the next episode.